I never dreamed the day would arrive when I would pay 30 bucks for a master lock, but I did, guys. This came off of eBay, uh, 30 bucks plus shipping. This is a Master 101, and the reason I bought it is because it appears to be a replaceable core. To give you an idea of the size, here's a number three. So it's basically twice as big as a number three. The keyways are also are very similar. So this is everybody's favorite training lock. So I'm thinking this one might be very, very much the same, but you'll notice they're like mirror images of each other on the keyways. So I don't really know that that'll make a heck of a lot of difference. What might make a difference though, is this guy's a five pinner. So this is the model, 20, I think it's a 27, there it is, the 27. And see what we got here, it works perfectly. Now where I run into trouble, it's pretty very strong spring to get this open and have a heck of a time inserting that. So I expect that the springs in here are very, very strong. Closing it is the problem sometimes. To get it aligned, get in there. So there we go. It is. It does lock, it does unlock, so... And the key works, so it clearly is pickable. Let's give it a shot. See if we can find a tensioner here. Try this guy. Try this guy. So red and white. White is the medium thickness. So it's a uh, one millimeter from multi-pick. And even though this is a regular master lock, just a mirror, I'm going to use a 15 thousandths deforest. So it can kind of get around that pair. I'm going to work from the bottom of the keyway. So let's try to bully this guy first. So heavy tension. And see if we can find a binder. And there it is, pin one. Nice click. Find another binder. There it is, pin five. Nice click. Pin two. Lightening up on my tension so I don't break the pick. Let's try that again. Yeah. There we go. So we can bully this one open as well. So kind of cool. Um, when we do look in here though, what makes this lock unusual is you can see a Torx screw down inside of there. Now I did think ahead a little bit, which is really unusual. And I checked to make sure that this is the right size. So let's take it apart. I didn't want to take it apart before because being master lock, I'm afraid it was like, you, yeah, you can take it apart, but heck, you can never get it back together. So I was kind of afraid of that. But let's try it. Let's move all this stuff. So if stuff does come springing out, I got half a chance on recovery. All right. We might need the light to find stuff on the floor. Wow. Okay. That was easy. Not even any Loctite, but that sure was torqued in there. Probably rust. Okay, there's your... There's, this thing is aluminum. This little end nut is aluminum. And it's squared off, but there's no... It, this is round, so it would spin... Yeah, it does spin in the bottom plate, but this piece of what appears to be magnesium uh, has a square, so it would prevent it from turning in there. We'll talk about that magnesium in, in just a minute. Let's see what kind of magic we got to do to get him out of here. Maybe we can... Uh, let's try to pry him out with a probe first before I break something. You know, it may have to be locked in order to get out of Because he's... Oh, there we go. Now he falls out. So it looks like a normal core, except it is a five-pinner. Let's take a look at this, because this kind of... I mean, I saw this logo, what is normally a rubber or plastic bumper on the outside of the lock. So when it bangs against, you know, your bike or a door or cabinet or whatever, the lock doesn't leave dents and screw, screw up the finish on the door or the bike. This one is quite different, though. This is uh, this appears to be made out of magnesium, nice and shiny, and it, it looks like it is a spacer inside of here. So 
Again, if you melted this, which would be pretty easy, I'm not going to do it because of the value of this lock, this whole section would fall out, giving you access to the inside. Then you could simply take a hacksaw right through here and cut through that screw. But that's an awful lot of trouble for a lock that I picked in, what, 30 seconds or so. Anyway, guys, there you go, the Master Lock 101. I don't know that it's worth 30 bucks. It sure didn't give me $30 worth of entertainment. Now I think I'm just going to have to give it away to somebody. Anyway, guys, I appreciate your time. Stay safe, stay legal, and as always, stay away from Master Lock 101.